Hi, everybody, and welcome to Orthodoxy 101. Last week, we talked about the controversies in the history of icons. Today, we're going to talk about the purpose and the different styles of icons. Now, if you visit an Orthodox church today, you're going to see many different styles of icons depending upon the culture and the location of those particular churches. You may see the traditional Byzantine icons, Slavic or Russian style icons, classic Greek American icons, icons that have a more Latin influence to them, and then mosaic style icons. And I wanna show some of those to you now. What I'm standing in front of right here is the classic Byzantine icon. Now what you see here is the dramatic use of colors, the gold leafing all around, and then if you look at her face, and this is gonna be important as we move to the other icons, is you can see that the faces are drawn a little bit more gaunt. In the Russian style, you'll see them very, very gaunt typically, and in some Byzantine icons also. But I want you to focus in on that very vibrant use of color in these particular icons. And keeping in mind the vibrant colors as we now move to this next icon over here. Now, I realize that this isn't traditionally a Latin icon, but what I want you to see here is it very well represents those ideals. A Latin icon is more a work of art. So the face is a little bit fuller and the focus is on the actual art of the icon. Now, like I said, I know that it has the Greek writing on it, but this depicts those characteristics classic of a Western style icon, which is a little bit more muted coloring but looks like a work of art with the face and the hands being more fuller, indicating a little bit more of a humble and a pious approach to Christianity. As opposed to the other Byzantine icons, which more because of the gauntness express now more of the severity of a Christian lifestyle. I wanna show you now a combination of these two, which is the classic Greek American icon. Now, what do I mean by that is when now the early Greek emigrants came to this country, they didn't have the money to bring Byzantine iconographers here, so they used local talent, but they had an idea of the type of style that, is make, that makes up a Byzantine icon, and that's what you see here. In fact, this icon itself is of the 20s, so it's of, it's of that period. And so what you have here is you have the stylings of a Western style because you see the face is a little bit fuller, but it's still drawn in that Byzantine style. And what do I mean by that? Is that you see other events that are happening here. You see here God the Father, you see the angels now surrounding, you see at least some of the gold leaf that surrounds the Theotokos here, and then you see then other figures. And so this is a classic, a very Greek American style icon that blends both the Byzantine elements and then the Roman Catholic elements. Now these last two icons, while not necessarily different styles, are done in different ways. This first icon right here is very popular in the Byzantine areas, such as Greece and Russia. And what you'll see is the painted icon, but covered over the top with a metallic cover. It's usually in silver, but many times it's in gold. And the idea there is just to represent or to point out the faces of who is being represented. Now in this second type of icon, you can see an example of an ethnic based icon, meaning that this icon being from Africa shows the figures being depicted in a skin color that is much more prominent in the area of where this icon would have been drawn. Now, while you've seen many painted icons, which is a very traditional Byzantine style, the Byzantines also, in many of their churches, adopted a more Western or a more Latin approach, and that's what you see here in the mosaic style icon. You'll notice that all the elements are still there, the Virgin Mary with the Christ child, the Christ child giving the blessing, but now expressed culturally in a more Latin style where you can see that influence, but used in many of our Byzantine churches.
So thanks everybody for joining us on this journey through iconography and icons. And as always, remember to like, subscribe, and share our videos.